Yeah, when you're working with low lighting, you have to get just the right area, you know, like if you move it just one little inch, look, it changes from blue to red, see that? You have to get it just right in order to catch the light. I'll, I'll give you a better example. See the end of this tip right here? Watch this. See? Look at that now. It goes from red to blue. Isn't that weird? You have to get it just right. There, I'll just leave it like that there. Yep, same with all of them though. You gotta just hit them just right. I'll give you a better look underneath here. Try not to fall when I do this. Got the, if I had that strip that wasn't out there, it'd be way better. It'd be cool to have a mini camera. Does anybody know how they do that time lapse where you can sit there and watch your plants grow? I'd love to have something like that. Do some time lapse. Uh, show how it grows. Time lapse. That does look cool though with the red and blue there. It takes forever though under these little 15 watt panels, but it's just purely solely for for clones. There we go. Got some red on there. This is a brand new clone. It was only in the it's only in the clone machine for uh, um, about four or five days, maybe five. I'll just say five days. So that yeah, flora bloom works really well. I believe that's a chemical uh, fertilizer, but I only use it for cloning. So the bottle will last me about a hundred years. Just a little two, uh, three, one quarter. Uh, tablespoons or not table teaspoons all right guys just led uh, messing around with my led panel here all right guys peace out